turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry Your memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake You put the bars in the place of so the one Yeah It's one all in one shot Now the future is yours what is going on everybody, it's your boy Jay Custer Great here from Anime Escape and host of Debate Kings, back with another DC video, last of the DC uh, videos for this go round. Um, I want to do DC animated movies, because for one, um, DC, when it comes to their animated movies, they don't miss. They, they really don't miss. And that's like one of the greatest debates, period, when it comes to Marvel and DC. Don't get me wrong, Marvel animated movies are great, but they just don't have that, that, how would you say that, Genesis toi, if I said it correctly. Correct me if I said it wrong. But I have watched almost every DC animated movie. The only one I haven't watched is the modern Death of Superman because I watched the old school Death of Superman. Granted, they did change up a few things, but it's still Superman Dynasty. Spoiler alert. Who didn't know that? But anyway, that's no here nor there. Diving into this list today, I'm going to hit you with my top five. Then I'm uh, also hit you with an honorable mention. Starting off with the honorable mention is the Injustice Animated Movie. Now, the plot to the Injustice Animated Movie, if you don't know, Injustice is a world or a universe where, excuse me, is where the Joker tricks Superman into killing Lois Lane. And because the Joker also tied a nuclear bomb to Lois Lane's heart, when Superman took Lois Lane's mistaken heart for Doomsday because Joker also, this is how crazy Joker is, Joker also fused Kryptonite and the Fear Toxin from Scarecrow to have Superman hallucinate Lois Lane as Doomsday. So when he killed Doomsday, he actually killed Lois Lane and connected to her heart was a nuclear bomb that was sitting in Metropolis. Metropolis explodes because he kills Lois, also finding out Lois was pregnant at the time. So, after that, Superman goes, excuse my French, ape shit. He goes crazy. I wouldn't say he goes crazy. He's just like, I've had enough. Uh, villains, tyrants, world leaders, Whoever, if I feel like you're doing something bad and I want it to end, it ends. He was the ultimate Debo, pretty much. When I pull up, it stops. I don't care what anyone says. And it takes the Justice League from the main DC universe to come over and stop Stead Superman. Uh, you get a lot of background information, like... Nightwing dies and becomes um, the new Dead Man. Um, Shazam is killed. Sinestro uh, joins the Justice League. Hal joins the Sinestro Corps. Classic Man. Well, that's that's leading into the comics and stuff. Classic. Man is a problem. That's not going to But it's a lot. And the only reason why I have it as an honorable mention is because watching the movie, the video game does it better. And I hate to say that because, <laughs> I really hate to say it because the video game actually, I mean, legit does it better. I don't know why, I don't know how, but the video game does it just absolutely 10 times better than the movie. <sighs> it's just a toss up, don't understand. And I mean, you have all the details, from the video game that you could put in the movie and yet you still somehow slightly drop the ball. Don't know how, don't know when, but that's why it's an honorable mention. Now, actually hitting my top five list. Number five is Teen Titans The Judas Contract. Now, <laughs> who? The reason why I put this as number five is because we all know why. If you don't know why, 
Terrence. That's all I'm gonna say. Terrence, this is a slave. That's all I'm gonna say. But Judas contract is pretty much um, there's a new member on the Teen Titans name is Terra. She is a Earth powered based super. Pretty much she can, you know, move rocks and stuff like that. Earthbender. So come to find out as she's getting along with everyone on the team, come to find out she's actually working with Slade, aka Deathstroke, to go through and eliminate all the Titans. So in between that, there's some uh, very, 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 very questionable things that happen between Deathstroke and Terra. That's why it's, 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 it's oh my gosh. So it would be nowhere on this list if it wasn't actually a good movie. If they took those parts out or like dumbed them down, it would have been a little bit higher, but I understand why they kept them in because you want to see them, them the way Deathstroke manipulates terror into doing all these horrible things, stabbing people in the back, this, this, and this, 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 and this. You, you, you see it. And they want you to see it. They want it like in your face, like this guy is manipulating this girl to the point where she's not even thinking straight. And that's that's the problem. And they want you to see that and they want you to understand that. So that's why it's number five. Um honestly like I said it, it, <laughs> it wouldn't have been on this list but it's a great movie and it just shows you in the mindset of a victim who's being manipulated and not even realizing it. So after that, number four, Justice League, Gods and Monsters. Now this, when I first saw this, was a very, very unique Justice League movie. And it's not like your typical Justice League movie. Um, so it's only, if I remember correctly, it's only three leaders, period. And there's no one else, it's just them three. So, premise. Batman, I can't remember who his name, what his act name is, in it. but in this one, that Batman was a doctor. I think he was Langstrom, the guy that becomes Man Bat in the regular DC universe. I think it's Langstrom. He's working on something and winds up becoming a vampire. Therefore, he, you know, takes it upon himself to turn into himself, become a superhero, and become Batman. Superman. Hmm. Uh, Superman was going to be shipped out. I can't remember. I think what they were doing is they were going to like super grow him or something like that. I can't fully really remember. It's been a little while since I've seen the movie. But somehow, instead of Superman's DNA getting, uh, was it Jarrell's? Jarrell, Superman's original dad, instead of getting his DNA, it got General Zod's DNA. So Superman is like no holds barred. He is like he's like a, a dictator, like that. Not like on the injustice level, but he is a dictator nonetheless. And I, if I remember correctly, Wonder Woman comes from uh, Dark Sides World. Dark Sides World. I can't. It's either New Genesis. I can't think of it for some odd reason. I can't think of it. I can't think of Dark Side's world. I can't think of it to save my life. It's probably gonna pop me later. Apocalypse, there we go. It's, it's one of them two. But like, they are complete opposites of the DC universe. And it's cool because Bat they do not mind killing. Especially Superman, he does not mind killing. Batman is a vampire, so he's like, I got to do what I gotta do. If I gotta kill you, I gotta kill you. And Wonder Woman, who was from this, you know, war planet or whatnot, she doesn't mind killing at all. So it's just like back and forth, like, I don't mind killing. Do you mind killing? Nope, I don't mind killing. Do you mind killing Batman? Well, I'm a vampire, so I kind of have to kill the, you know. So it's like, hey, 
I love it. It's a different concept. Everything plays out different. And the ending is kind of crazy to me, but at the same time, good because with everything going on, you're like, yeah, it had to end that way. <laughs> it had to end that way. So that's why I have Justice League and Gods, Justice League, Gods and Monsters in number four. Number three, now I know, before y'all even jump down my throat, I know y'all are gonna like look at me sideways for this. But I have Batman The Dark Knight Returns 1 and 2 and number 3. I can hear the like, mother what? Like, I can hear it because those are the greatest Batman movies. Period. Period. In my, those, that is the greatest Batman movie. Period. Batman's old. Surprisingly, Alfred's still there, kicking. Alfred gotta be a robot by now, because I don't understand how that man be kicking like in some of these things. But Batman's old. Crime is running rampant. You know, capes are now ran by the government, like you know, controlled by the government. Their actions and stuff like that. So I forgot what makes Batman come back out. He's like, I'm done. I'm coming back out. So he comes back out, dons the cape, he takes on the mutant leader, then he, you know, fights Joker, and then the Kugra, he fights Superman. It is still one of the greatest animated fights to this day. Batman in a mech suit with a laid out plan against Superman. And let me, let me tell you this. He still has one of the greatest lines against Superman. He still has the greatest lines against Superman ever. Period. And because Superman's like, come on, Bruce, stop this. You know, if they if it's if it's not me, they're gonna send someone else. And Batman's like, hmm, okay. So who do they send after you? Because you're Superman. Like, you're Superman. You're the top of the team, you're the top of the pyramid. If they, send, if they have no one else after you, or you're the top of my pyramid, who comes after you that I can't beat? And I'm like, damn, that's a good shit talker right there. That is good shit talker right there. That's great. And he's like, who comes after you? Because no one comes after Superman. Everyone's done. Everyone is done. Like, seriously. But it is such a good movie, I still say that is the best Batman movie, period. Those are the best Batman movies, period. And I know y'all gonna be like, it's only number three. Come on, though. Look, it's my list. It is what it is. I'm not saying it can't be number one, but it's just, it's so iconic that you can't avoid it, pretty much. It's not something that you can just like, oh, let me go back and watch it. No, it's there in your face every single time. That's why I have it at number three because you can't avoid it. It's pop, it pulled, everyone pulls that reference out. Everyone pulls it out. Hell, they made a horrible live action DC movie, Batman vs. Superman. You can't avoid it. That's why I have it at number three. That's why I have it. Number two is actually my favorite Superman movie, Superman vs. the Elite. <laughs> this was a prime example of if you push somebody and they you know what I'm done that's pretty much it Superman meets this group called the elite the leaders of Manchester Black um, they are pretty much you know Superman's trying to show them the ropes and everything like that because they're supposed to be new heroes uh, they were experiments yada yada all that good stuff so Superman is trying to show them the ropes, you know, and, you know, they start doing underhanded tactics, you know, start actually hurting people, killing people, things of that nature. And Superman's like, that's not what we do. And they're like, nah, this is what we do. We're taking over. And, and they push Superman to the point, and he's like, you know what? Cool. You want this out of me? You got it. It's like 
I don't really use this analogy, but it's really the perfect term. It's like when you bully that one kid. It's like when you when you're in school and you see that one kid being bullied, and you just see them and you know you need to quit bullying him because and shit pop off. And you and, and there be people be like, yo, leave old dude, old leave old buddy alone. He's cool. Leave him how he is. He's he's nah. Leave him be. So yeah. But that's why I have Superman and the Elite at number two. And then my number one is actually two number ones. Because I couldn't decide because I love these movies to death. I will literally, I have the DVDs of these sitting right across the room from me. I would get up and get them, but um, I'm soaking my feet. So that's no good on there. Um, Justice League War and Justice League Duty. Those are my favorite DC movies, period. So, Justice League War. Justice League War is uh, literally about the Justice League coming together the first time and Darkseid pops up. It consists of Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Batman, Cyborg, and Shazam, and Green. That's just hard to team. And it's because Darkseid invades the world and all of the above. Because at the beginning of this movie, People started pit disappearing, aliens popping up, these little bombs and stuff popping up, trying to figure out what's going on. The team has to come together in some way, shape, or form. They're technically forced together. So, and then, you know, like at the end, they're li like literally forced together because they're like, so what is, you know, what do we, what do we do? What do we call ourselves? And and when Superman's like, I, I, I know we're working on back was like, you know, I know we're working on And then like someone's like, well, it's better, you know, to at least try to keep in contact with us just in case something like this happens. So you know, I, that's why I love Justice League more. And honestly, for me, it gives Cyborg more how Cyborg because Cyborg is one of my favorite DC characters. And he does not get a lot of things. I've said this in the previous video. He does not get a whole lot of things. But the, the fact that they went through and changed the lineup and stuff like that is also dope as well. So, but Justice League Doom is, um, is renamed from the comic book Justice League, uh, what is it, Power of Babel, if I said it correctly, um, where Batman has a contingency plan for every superhero. And someone goes in, steals his plans, modifies them, and then goes out on the attack for the superheroes. Now, when I first saw that, I was like, yo, like, Batman is, is, is relentless. Because, like, even though their plans were modified to be Harmful. The fact that Batman has sat down and analyzed everybody is like, nah, son. we are too powerful. And he even says in the movie, and he, they're like, because at the end, once they get everything done, they're like, okay, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. Batman have these contingency plans. And even one of them was like, I don't mind the contingency plans. It's just the simple fact he never told us. And they were like, yeah, I understand that. And then. And they were like, well, Batman, when you have to say, it's Batman's straight for us. Like, I don't see the need for the contingency plans. I don't need to be here. We are the most powerful people in the room, period. We can take up the world if we wanted to. And if y'all if, if y'all don't see the need for these, I don't need to be in this league. Goodbye. I was like, yo, this man is relentless. But yeah, that was, to me, like the dopest thing ever because it's like even though Batman tweaked the plan that they tweaked Batman's plans he knew from the get go what was the best step for everybody because obviously they were his plans but still the simple fact that they tweaked them to make them theirs and he still know what was going on and how to get everyone done and get everyone back out and stuff within enough time and everything like that is still dope but um, 
<laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's my top five list, guys. I, I didn't, I wasn't ready for a quote today. Come on, man. See, this is why I need to be ahead of curve on certain things, because like these quotes. This one right here is, this is great right here. So, feed your faith and your fears will starve to you. I'm not gonna say. Yep, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Um, it's either, it's probably video game. Yeah, video games are coming up next. So, uh, be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for watching. Stay true and stay savage, people, and I am out. Bye.